guys, James Foster for Submissions 101. I'm going to show you a nice uh, bow and arrow setup off of the clock choke. Hope you guys enjoy it. Alright, so we have our partner turtled up here and we want to set up our clock choke first. But really, I just want to get the collar grip so I can set up my bow and arrow. So from here, I'm going to open up his lapel underneath his arm, and I'm not going to try to feed my hand too deep. He's probably already going to be worried up here, so really I just want to get my hand in front of his shoulder and get a hold of his lapel. Go ahead and lift up a little bit. So it doesn't have to be super deep here. I just want to get my thumb inside the lapel. So at this point, what I'm trying to set up here is my bow and arrow choke. So how I'm going to do that I need to make some adjustments here. So initially maybe I was trying to set up the clock choke but the guy's really hard to finish or I'm just trying to throw him off, get him worried about one thing and set up the other. So I'm going to switch my hand from blocking his hip over here and I'm going to go hand to the belt, four fingers inside and now I'm going to turn my knees to the mat. I'm going to pop up here and what I want to do is take a big step with my right leg over here, okay? At the same time that my foot touches, I'm gonna fall and start rolling to my side here. So this foot touches, and I'm gonna roll to my side and continue rotating. At the same time, I grab the outside of his knee. I wanna make sure I'm perpendicular to him. Throw my leg over the shoulder, and I prefer to cross my legs here so I can use my hips to help me finish the choke by extending my hips and pulling on the collar.